Marcus Rashford went from being one of Manchester United's best players in 2020 to having a massive decline in the 2021-22 season. He looks very unhappy, lost and a shadow of his former self. But recent Marcus Rashford interviews are starting to make sense now. Not only did he suffer a great deal off the pitch and horrific racism after the Euros, but he was treated poorly by managers and forced to play through injuries and more. I could walk you into the dressing room, I could show you five, six, seven players and me as well, Been had injuries here, here from September. Well, that Marcus Rashford interview, when you read what Martial said in his interview yesterday, it really comes to light that, you know, Rashford told us two years ago when we lost, when we lost the Europa League final, they were giving it their all, they were playing with injuries. Martial's come out and said that he was forced to play with injuries, he gave it his all. And when the media have been painting certain Man United players out to be bad people, like Martial, or when Rashford's been getting all the stick for not trying, you look back at it and you go, there was some real mismanagement by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, by Manchester United. And in this video, I'm going to get into a couple of the reports that have gone on about what really happened behind the scenes with Oli, Rashford, Martial, why players were declining and the real reason behind Marcus Rashford's drop in form. Now, before I get into that, please do hit that like button and, of course, subscribe down below if, you, below if you're new. I do apologise for no live stream tonight, guys. Um, there's just not much news. Like, I would be live for United Mexico Crystal Palace today, but I'm not. And I was going to do a live stream tonight and then I was just like, there's not loads to talk about, but I will be live tomorrow night and hopefully a bonus video tomorrow as well. So do subscribe for that. But let's get into it. So... The first news that came out is that Rashford and Sancho are set to be recalled for the England squad, which is absolutely brilliant. Positive news. I've always said Rashford, Martial, Sancho, they're all confident players. They're all confidence players. If Tenor can believe in them, get them confident, getting a call out will help with the confidence of Rashford and Sancho if they can get some goals. All those players are confidence players. And we know there's a top player in all of those players in our front three who've been very poor the last year and a half. And I trust Tenog to get the best out of our front three. But actually, let's look at why there's been a drop in form in the front three, especially Rashford. Now, Marcus Rashford, you guys know, is one of my favourite players. I have defended him a bit, but I would come out and say he was probably our worst player last season because he literally got pushed out of the squad for, for a langer. He looked lost. I remember versus Aston Villa. Rashford didn't even chase after the ball. I remember Ronaldo tracking back for Rashford. Marcus Rashford looked absolutely lost last season. He looked like he wasn't enjoying football. He looked like he didn't want to be it. He just did not look right. And Ten Hag sort of brought the old Rashford back. Reportedly, Rashford has been working really hard this summer, doing extra training drills this summer and been doing so much fitness work this summer. And obviously, Ten Hag's put some confidence in him. He's got some goals and Rashford looks like a completely new player. But what really caused the poor form behind Rashford off the pitch? Well, if we dive into that interview, as I said, after Europa League, Rashford said, to win big trophies, you have to sacrifice. I could walk into the dressing room and show you five, six, seven players and me as well who had injuries from September, the beginning of the season. And we all stayed together as a unit. We have to fight together to be successful. That was Rashford two years ago, basically saying the same thing Marshall said in his interview yesterday, saying basically they played with injuries from September all the way to the end of the season. One of the big reasons for a drop off in form in Luke Shaw, Rashford, Bruno Fernandes and Martial, who were two of, who are probably our four best players, our four best players in that season under Oli, where we came second and nearly won the Europa League. They were our four best players, and then the next season they came back and they looked awful because they didn't even get a rest because of the Euros or anything like that, and they'd literally played for nearly twelve months with an injury. Oli didn't rest them, and it all came from this problem with Martial and Rashford and Rashford's dip in form. I think it all came from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's favouritism. He won't rotate, he won't use anyone else. He had to use the same players. He couldn't take risks. So Marcus Rashford was having to play week in, week out for Oli. Martial said when he was injured, Oli forced him to play. And then Martial said because he was playing injured, he didn't have the pace. He couldn't do certain things because he had a bit of an injury. And then because he was playing injured, it caused a worse injury. So he actually had to take time out. And when he took time out Cavani scored goals, Oli wouldn't put him back in the team. Once Oli had a starting eleven, we know Oli wouldn't change it. We know that, you know, Cavani got in the team now. Sorry, Marcia, you're not getting in now. Oli would just want to play the same starting eleven, week in, week out. Donny never got a chance. Bailly coming out saying he preferred English players. He had favourites. It wasn't about form. It wasn't about how hard you worked in training. Under Oli, it was about favourites. Oli, and people won't like me saying this, did create this toxic environment at United. Martial was poor because he was playing injured. Martial was so good, and then all of a sudden he looked really poor for a few games because he was playing injured. Oli didn't tell the media that. Oli didn't protect Martial. He was playing injured. Marcus Rashford was playing injured. Oli didn't protect Rashford. We all knew Rashford was carrying an injury. I think everyone could see it. We all knew Rashford wasn't right. 
Rashford was playing with an injury that whole season. So no wonder at the Euros, Rashford was god-awful because he, he didn't have a surgery too after the Euros. He'd literally been playing and delaying an injury for that long. So then he took his time out. He looked a little bit okay when he was fresh under Oli and he came back from injury, scored a couple goals, then looked lost again. But we talk about Oli. We had that front three, Rashford, Greenwood, Martial, were absolutely fantastic in their first season. And they all declined under Oli. And it's coming out now that it was just the mismanagement of being overused. I mean, Oli used to say we had the best medical staff, but that's the biggest load of bullshit I've ever, ever seen. Being overused, being forced to play week in, week out, tiring players. And even if they didn't say that, we could have seen it at the time. I remember Bruno Fernandes' drop-off at the end of the season. Bruno was the best player in the league by a country mile the first six months of the season. And then the second six months, he absolutely dropped off completely. Luke Shaw, his drop-off was mad. Rashford's drop-off was mad. Martial's drop-off was mad. Even Maguire's drop-off was mad. But what were all those five players doing? Playing every single week, no matter what happened, they would always play. You wouldn't see Donny, you wouldn't see Bayer, you wouldn't see any rotation. And Oli's favouritism actually knackered out the players, extorted the players, meant they couldn't recover from injuries. As Martial said, when he's playing with an injury, he's not as quick. His pace was important to his game, so he doesn't play as well. And all these players kept playing injured, but because they were playing injured, they were just playing worse and worse, which disrupts their form, which, you know, disrupts their confidence. And this all started with Oli. I remember a news report that came out two years ago, which I'm going to read to you now. Marcus Rashford played through the pain barrier towards the end of last season and is now set to go a rest period to make sure he's 100% fit for the 2021 season. Marcus Rashford has been undergoing surgeries, injuries, all of this because Oli basically forced Rashford to play whenever he could play. And Rashford, from, honestly, all of Oli's seasons was playing injured. And Rashford's a confidence player. When he's playing injured, he's not playing as well. And when he's not playing as well, his confidence goes. You know, Rashford's decision-making last season, his lack of belief was one of the reasons he was so poor. Rashford would get the ball and he didn't know what to do with it. He looked lost on the pitch. Luckily, Ten Hag's come in. He's put some belief in Rashford. He's not going to play Rashford and he's going to manage Rashford better. And we already see a better Rashford. Because I've said this and a lot of people say Marcus Trashford, Marcus Trashford, Marcus, Marcus Trashford. But I've said this about Rashford. I saw the Rashford that played last season. I was like, Rashford is nowhere near that bad. Rashford's the guy that got 25 goals in one season for United. Rashford's the guy that got 30 goal contributions in one season for United under Oli Ball. There is a player in Marcus Rashford and all of a sudden, a bit of confidence, a bit of goals. And he's making those runs that he used to make. He's making those passes, you know, that assist to Anthony that he used to make. All of a sudden, he's getting back into it. And I generally think it was the confidence and the bad management of Rashford which caused his decline as well. And, you know, you've got Bailly talking about how Solskjaer picked favourites. You've got Martial talking about how Solskjaer will play players injured. Oli just wouldn't rotate. He said he played the same old players. And I have to say, I'm so glad that Eric Ten Hag has come into United. Because I think every single player declined under Oli. I cannot name one Man United player that improved under Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Sancho got worse. Greenwood got worse. Martial got worse. Rashford got worse. All our attackers got worse. Luke Shaw had that resurgence season then got worse. Maguire got worse. Juan Bissaka had a really good first season and then got worse. Everyone, everyone's best season under Oli was their first season or second in Luke Shaw's case under Oli. And then they got worse. Bruno's first full year was better than his second full year by miles. Every single United player seemed to get worse and decline massively under Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. And it's very obvious there was a lack of coaching, but also a lack of management as well. You know, Oli wasn't a coach. We never, we always knew there was lack of coaching at United. There wasn't a style. There wasn't a system. There wasn't players improving. We always knew Oli wasn't a coach. But Oli wasn't a good manager. Like, I, I'm sorry. Like, I like Oli. He's a club legend, but he wasn't. You cannot play the same 11 week in, week out. He played an injured Maguire over a fully fit Bailly when Bailly had a really good game and, was, and Maguire was being really poor at the moment. And we lost 4-2 to Leicester because he did that. He never gave Donny van der Beek a chance. And then on Oli's last game, Donny comes on, scores the goal and was the best player. Oli was too stubborn to rotate. And that didn't just cost Oli his job, but that cost a lot of players a lot of things. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Make sure you smash that like button. And of course, subscribe down below if you're new. I've got a video coming out tomorrow, but I've also got a live stream tomorrow night. So make sure you tune into my live stream tomorrow night. It should be an interesting one. See you then. Bye.